a sign that your narcissist is potentially dangerous um, is if he rages, if he's very quick to become angry, and if he becomes angry over very, very small things. Like we haven't seen that before. A sign that your narcissist is dangerous is uh, his inability or her inability to assume any responsibility for their behavior. Now, if your narcissist is doing things and, you know, you're approaching them to discuss these issues and they are immediately taking all that responsibility, this is a sign of very, very weak and uh, poor character. If your narcissist is directly threatening you, threatening you with physical harm, threatening you with destruction of your property, threatening to hurt your children or family members or your dog, you got to keep in mind, nothing is coming out of your mouth, you know, of its own free will. The stuff that's coming out of your mouth is going to be a product of what you're thinking. And if someone is threatening you, that means they're thinking about it. Suspect your narcissist is cheating on you. I will absolutely guarantee you that he is. They are chronic, habitual, pathological cheaters. They cheat because though the sex means nothing to them, it is simply supply sex. They need it. The problem with the narcissist is because the narcissist is such a gambler, risk taker, and inflictor of evil and harm. They will often uh, engage in unprotected sexual activity, which means if they've been, you know, fishing in the shallow end of the swamp, they're going to come home to you with no concern whatsoever as to whether or not they could be infecting you with something you probably don't want to catch. Your narcissist is an alcoholic or a drug addict or both, as Trevor was. Uh, you have to keep in mind that they already have extremely, extremely poor behavior. So when you add alcohol and drugs to that sort of mental illness and that type of ability to, you know, just be a boundaryless monster, you know, drugs and alcohol can really uh, create a shitstorm that can result in some grave destruction. If you are involved in a relationship with a narcissist, uh, you are excessively <laughs> familiar with the smear campaign. Now, the smear campaign, you know, is, is done to other people, people who potentially can become flying monkeys. Now, when you've got a brood of flying monkeys, you know, now with a hate on for you, though they don't even know you, not only could your narcissist be a potential threat to your health, but uh, these crazy flying monkeys can be too. Again, back to that uh, concept that you can't really say anything unless you're thinking it. It's all kind of part of the same, you know, fluid thing. So now if your narcissist is threatening other people, for the first uh, several years of my relationship with Trevor, he threatened relentlessly to have his wife, his ex-wife, murdered. He also threatened quite relentlessly to have my two oldest sons killed and would, you know, do this flailing depiction around the house on how he was going to club them and stab them and, you know, get down on the ground and choke them and uh, quite a strange show. Uh, this was excessively frightening to me and uh, probably caused me to stay silent for much, much longer than I would have um, had he not been threatening murder. If your narcissist bursts of uncontrollable rage result in him punching holes in walls and doors or knocking things off countertops or tabletops and you're seeing, you know, physically destructive behavior toward sex, uh, this is a sign. If your narcissist is physically harming you, um, Trevor often pushed me down. He would... Um, hold me against the wall, strangle me, uh, quite forcibly kick me out of bed and things like this, uh, throw plates of food at me and spit on me. Um, the sign that physical violence was a possibility, well, we, we cross that line. But Trevor definitely had the capacity to be physically aggressive and violent towards me. So 
if that's happening to you, you really need to get the fuck out of there and do it quickly. And get help from police if need be. And for God's sake, stop keeping his secrets. If your narcissist is experiencing what appears to be breaks from reality, uh, that crazy demon-possessed uh, look in their eye, as Trevor often got, you know, you've really got to watch for that because it's during these breaks from reality that uh, you are really in a dangerous and volatile situation. It's all bad. <laughs>